Hello guys, I am going to be teaching you how to go into the snapshot snapshots, which are basically development versions of Minecraft. Well, I am also going to um, review one of my favorite snapshots, or the latest snapshot that just came out. So, um, yeah. Let's just wait for this to load, and obviously you have to get out Minecraft. And, all right. So what you want to go is, I'm on this snapshot, and how do I get to this? Well, I'm going to show you. First, usually you wouldn't have this, and you'd want to click New Profile. So you click New Profile, and you'd be in something like this. Except it wouldn't be like this. It'd be like this. Use Latest Version. So what I do is I click Use um, Enable Experimental Data uh, Development Versions, and then it will save this bracket snapshot. And when I click the check mark on this, I've got all the snapshots here. So 14W34B is what I'm going to use. And, um, yeah, and then play, and you'll be in the snapshot. So, yeah. So let's just wait for this to load. All right. So this should load soon. But um, I've just started this series, so... Probably, I just started Minecraft, so it's probably not going to be perfect. I've started YouTube videos on Minecraft, at least. Just, just like, this is my first that is probably actually going to work. And so I'll play this world, and then, and I'll show you what's inside. Okay. Well, it's, well, they've added doors. And the way you make these are just like any doors, except with the different types of wood. And, and, yeah, and the way you make these is with red sand. We'll just take red sand, put it in the crafting table, like you would with normal blocks, except it's red sand. And, yeah, so, you're probably wondering why I've got these in my hand. Well, that's because one of my favorite features, oh, sorry. One of my favorite features are this. If I make a be a simple beacon, right, and put this on, oh, this on top, just wait for it to load. So here's a normal beacon. But if I take like yellow stained glass, the entire beacon turns yellow. And this is very useful because if I stack this up, then the destroy, this look at that it's like it goes up to this glass and when it reaches it it changes and you can also mix colors so let's say I want it to be yellow and purple mixed there we go that looks like pink and then I can mix it with red and then um, mix it with uh, blue and mix it with all kinds of colors. Ooh, what would black look like? Oh, man. Ooh, I want to just try it plain on black. I wonder what that looks like. Just black. Wow. That looks cool. But that's one of my favorite features. And, um... Yeah. Uh, so... It's pretty cool. All these work like normal. They can all be powered by redstone and stuff. And yeah, nothing really that um, amazing. And and there's some yeah. That's pretty much it. Ah, oh, here's the jungle fence gate. So. This is what the jungle fence gate looks like here. This is what jungle fence gate looks like. And I am definitely going to be using these a lot because these are really cool. And um, these are would be really good for blinds and stuff, but these are really awesome. Those are really cool. And... Uh,